And we're Your back. Grace, the population demands she be punished. Sion has committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood. Another they... word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many, true. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The Ducal Huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the Batu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. War this death of wants. It's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you. <gasps> she
Oh, she's not dead. <laughs> Easy. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I'd put it? Do forgive me, though I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour? Ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme. Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen, one of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires, among the oldest and strongest. Mm -hmm. And? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The Elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is- Yeah, a... figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm, so I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? I think we should free her. Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work.
Damien could be in danger. Or dead. Do you think so? He seemed battle-hardened. More than a few scraps under his belt. Against humans, not monsters. There. We must put him down before he kills again. Show me what he does. She moves too much because of him. is not the best time for they broke formation ran that said it's damien's blood he was wounded let's go <laughs> barricade put up in the street pointless that's no obstacle to a hunt they didn't know i didn't get a chance to prepare them <laughs> no not another one Wish you did. 
Apparently she's dead. I can't loot her though. Where'd he go? You killed it. Sing Sorry, one sec. That harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit! I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw, you and your men, now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again, your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial. In custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Sienna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? Are you sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear.
And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's beyond this door. Careful! What? I one tapped it. Wait, why is my quest okay? Locked. Of course. Regis. I don't have a fist fight with this door. Shit. We might have to stand guard. But honor Henrietta's personal request. Thanks. At your service. Good one. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Something inside? Nope. Empty. I close the door. Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. I tutored the girls in Milf Guardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Anna Rietta seems more gifted in this regard and also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. Hey. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudellaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. 
I tip my cap to Master Artorius Vigo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Hmm, realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Sienna into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Hey, that box. Where's that book? Nice tune. Indeed, pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture. Okay. Bolden. That's locked. Wait. Move that first. Here we go. Huh. This it? Let's see. Specto Ludum. Okay, we'll call this an episode. Probably start the next quest after this. So, thank you for watching. Go back.